What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we've got another massive tech unboxing and this time we've got a lot of stuff from companies that sent me things that they want me to check out so we'll be seeing what some of them have to offer as we always do. Ari, you want to pick the first one? Yes, uh, the envelope. This guy? Yes. Okay, uh, this should be pretty easy and this is from Nomad. So let's see what we got here. So this, oh, and I forgot to bring my Apple Watch today. The one time. So this is the new silicone sports strap. So this is supposed to be swim proof. And here you have it. So if you guys are interested in like the Nike band that they have or anything like that, if you want to do something a bit more active, uh, Nomad came out with an option for that. I really wish I had my Apple Watch here to try it out. But what I'll do is insert some B-roll. Editing magic, baby. So this is what it looks like. You guys have an idea. Uh, I do like these straps though. They're light and they give it a bit a way more sporty look. Actually, if you look at it, it looks a lot like the strap on the Gear S3. So yeah, it looks like it a lot, but that's good. I really like the straps on this. So now I have an option for the Apple Watch. Next, I'm gonna do, oh, I know what this is. Oh, I know. We're gonna open this up. All right, so this guy I know is from Colorware. Let's see what we've got. They sent me some special goodies and it's all switch related. Let's see. And. Oh, oh sweet. There you go. <laughs> A very UAC styled controller. I love it. Wow. They really know you, man. They do. I didn't, and listen, guys. I didn't design this, I didn't pick it. These guys just know what the UAC colors are all about. So this is what it ended up looking like. Okay, I'm very, very happy with this. I can't wait to put the, you know, I'm gonna just insert some more B-roll of all my colorway controllers so you guys can see that there. That's awesome. Very, very happy with this. So, but if you guys haven't heard of colorway, these guys customize and paint all kinds of cool stuff. Link in the description, be sure to check it out. But this is the special edition thing that we've got here. Oh, ho, ho. old school. Oh, this is high. So this is meant to look like the NES. So it's like an ode to the NES. You got some Joy-Cons that resemble the controllers there. So, looks so good. So check it out with the straps. These look legit. This is really cool, man. And they they nail it every time. They really, really do. These are good looking Joy-Cons. So if you love the old Nintendo, uh, you love NES, this is definitely worth picking up. This is awesome. Woo! Making my, yo, this Gamer's Paradise is gonna be so crazy. 2.0 is gonna be nuts, man. But shout out to Color for hooking me up the right way all the time. I like you guys. So next up, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, I don't know what this is. The Sony MDR 1000X. Now this one isn't for me. It'll be for one of you guys. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, not right now, but in a future video, so keep your eyes peeled. Obviously, I'm not gonna open this one up to show you guys, but I talked about the 1000X before. It's one of my favorite headphones. It's honestly like the higher end of what Sony has to offer when it comes to Bluetooth wireless headphones. It has a ton, a ton of features, great sound quality, premium materials, got the leather on the ear cups. It's just, listen, it is expensive and it is worth it. You guys should be hyped. Now this one is from Sennheiser. So at the very top, we've got some head, oh, gaming headset rather. So this is from their game series. This is the Game One. So it's open acoustic gaming headset. Now open back headphones are what people love to use instead of like real gaming headsets. So this is kind of like the best of both worlds. You get an open back headset and a gaming headset. Now I have the Game Zero headset which I think is a bit different, but ooh. man, you can't, you can't knock this. This looks good. I think this is a noise canceling mic as well. They always have like really high quality mics with their headsets. So this is awesome. Now that's just one thing that they sent. There's more. Yeah, there's this. Oh, it also comes with a cable. So let's see. There's a lot more actually. Okay. Got a little Sennheiser hat. <laughs> Should just switch it out, right? Ah. 
So this is a shock mount for a mic. So if you're streaming, you don't want to bang your mic or have it, you know, if you bump into the table, have you hear that jerkiness, you can use this and you don't have to worry about it. It's going to just be clean audio straight up. So this is nice. This is the MK6, MKS4. So what you do is you put your mic right here in the bottom, you screw it in. And then as it moves around, you're not going to hear anything because it's supported well right in here. A headset hanger. Ooh, dang. I just bought a headset hanger. It's in one of these boxes. <laughs> okay. That looks legit. This is fancy. So this is like serious stuff. Of course, you you know, you screw this all the way down and then you can clamp it onto any desk and then it kind of just sits on this. This looks, this is sturdy. It looks sturdy, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this some kind of hoodie or something? It's like a little Sennheiser hoodie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the last, the last thing now. Oh, a new mic. So this is a condenser microphone. This is the MK4 Digital, powered by Apogee. So this is awesome. Let's see what it looks like. Oh man, if you feel the weight on this thing, this is, this is legit stuff right here. Go this onto the shock mount. And then you're like good to go. I really, listen, I really need to get on my Twitch game now. Like, I have no excuses. But this is all dope. Huge shout out to Sennheiser for sending this stuff over. All right, so I just dropped the box and made a mess for myself to clean up. <laughs> Good job, Jack. Ah, so right here we've got a uh, iAudi car charger, a car mount. This is something that I've I think I've shown this one on the channel before. This is probably the best car mount I've ever used for my phone. Uh, it has wireless charging, so if your phone supports that with wireless Qi charging, you can plug this up into your cigarette lighter and then charge your phone wirelessly. So this is it. Uh, it's super, super flexible, like I said. You can extend the length as long as you want it to be. Uh, you can move it up or down, and you can also just move around the actual holder itself. So. There's a lot of rotation here. So you can pretty much customize this to fit exactly how you want it in your car. Give your phone the right angle so that you know you can make sure you're viewing your GPS just the way you need to. So I had to pick this up. I gave my last one to my sister-in-law, Anna. Uh, she used to hold her phone on her lap while she was driving. That's dangerous, folks. Get one of these. Okay, so <laughs> here's the headphone hanger that I was talking about. I didn't know I was getting one from Sennheiser. You pull it out and you pretty much just twist it so that it can clamp onto any old desk or surface and you just throw your headphones on top of here. And under that, we have a new backpack. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but what's in my gadget backpack 6.0 is coming out in the future. And I need a solid backpack that I can depend on and use for a while before I make that video. It is super hard to dethrone the one I'm using now, so I've been looking around, and this one is by Cocoon. So you can actually unzip this. And I'm seeing already, this bag might be too small. But- Oh, it's built-in gridded. A built-in gridded right in front. So instead of having a bunch of pockets and um, you know little slots and holes, you can actually put everything that you need to right inside of here. I like the idea behind it, but I'm gonna see if that can actually replace a regular backpack for me. Oh, okay, so, oh, this is kind of nice. So you got slots for your tablets, your laptop, the inside is soft, so you can not worry about your laptop getting scratched up or anything like that. This is a solid backpack though, but definitely more on the minimalist side than what I use with my gadget backpack, so maybe I'll find another use for this. All right, so we've got one last box. Now this one I know is from Aki. We've got quite a few things in here, just like Sennheiser. So let's see what we've got inside. All right. So these are active noise canceling earbuds, Bluetooth earbuds with a neck band. Oh, okay. This actually looks pretty good. Not bad. Is this, this isn't metal, is it? Okay, it's plastic, but it still looks decent. The looks, looks wise, I think they've got it. This is nice. But of course, I'm gonna have to check out how they actually sound. 
I don't think I've ever seen them make this before or this kind of uh, product with the neckband and everything. So, so it's a pretty good looking first try. But of course, it's all about that sound quality. I'll let you guys know how I feel about that. Next up, a sports action camera. So this is like their way of competing with GoPro. Oh wow. So this is like straight up. You got the case and everything for it. And look at this guys. Open up this little box. And you get a ton of accessories. Wow. Quite a few accessories. So I just looked in the book, I found the specs. This shoots 4K at 25 frames per second, uh, 2.7K at 30 frames per second, 1080p, you could do 68, 60 FPS, blah, blah, blah. And you've also got a 170 degree wide angle lens. And I believe this lens is 12 megapixels. What I like about Aki is that they're pretty inexpensive. So if that's a pretty decent competitor to GoPro, could be nice to mention. Eclipse wireless speaker. So we've got a Bluetooth speaker here. Okay. Oh, this looks pretty good. Mm. It looks pretty decent, right? Yeah. Oh, and you can see that this this thing moves. So that means when you hear that bass, it's gonna go. That's I say cool. we try it now. Hook it up. You serious? Yeah, right, let's hear let's, it. Let's see. Let's see, this is the Aki SKM30. So you guys can know. We the best oh. Got a little bass to it. Oh, this is pretty decent. I'm the one y'all see that there? That's that bass for you. <laughs> so that is actually pretty good. Wow. Okay, Aki, stepping it up, getting into a bunch of things. I see you. A dashboard camera. I've wanted one of these for the car. I was like, you ain't putting that in my car. <laughs> no, I'm like, I got weirdly excited about that just now. Did you? Yeah, I oh. saw them in an Uber and I was like, I need one. Right? I think so too. So this is interesting. Now, dashboard cameras are not something that I'm too familiar with. I've never really looked up one. Uh, I've always wanted to put one in the car though, just in case. You never know. Oh, okay. So here you got the lens. Oh, and you can angle it how you have, however you need. So you can go like this. Okay. Interesting. So I am happy to have this. I didn't even know they made dashboard cameras. So it looks like they give you pretty much everything that you need here. So you're pretty much set to go. This is cool. This is, listen, I made out like a bandit today, don't you think? Yes. I do, I do, I do. All right, so this is everything, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, like I said, lots of stuff from just a bunch of different companies wanting me to check out. My eye keeps going towards these. <laughs> but till the next video, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Links for everything will be down in the description. Shout out to all the companies who sent stuff for us to check out. Till the next video, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.